might be in some trouble here. <laughs> Wait, am I looking at this right? Hold on a second. Sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking out right there. Happy Friday. This week was such a long week. I have no idea why. I have to run a couple of errands and um, actually Bronx and Edwin are outside right now taking a walk because Bronx had to go poo. Um, and so I am going to join them. I just have to grab a jacket or a sweater because it's still kind of chilly outside, but it's definitely spring weather right now. Look at what I got. I've definitely turned into, um, this is going to sound so ridiculous. Let me just grab a jacket. This should be good. A light jacket. Yes, I've turned it to that doggy mom. Um, I'm not that... I wouldn't say that I'm not proud of it, but it's like I always told myself like... Uh, when I get a dog, like I would never put them in a... a what do you call that? Like a doggy carriage. Um, I said I would never do that. And I was too quick to judge for sure. Like, I'm, yeah, I have to take what I said back because, you know, like I see people walking around the mall with their dogs inside the little um, push carts or like little, um, I really don't know what you call them, strollers, doggy strollers. I was definitely judgmental. I'd be like, well, I don't understand why they're like, you know, putting the dogs in a, into a dog stroller, but now I understand. Bronx loves walking away from home and he is like, he's got a little pep in his step walking away from the house. As soon as I'm like, come on, let's turn around and come back. He's like, oh, hell no. So he'll like put on his like brakes with his arms like this. And I do not want to be that person who has to like drag their dog because I would never, I mean, listen, I see people do it all the time. And it's normal, I get it, but I can't do that to Bronx. Like, I cannot get myself to pull him. And yes, I will a little bit, I'll give him a tug, but um, there are some people who like drag their dogs and I cannot do that. Before I got the stroller, I used to pick him up and walk like half a mile and I just couldn't do it. All that weight on me is just way too much. So I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need to get a stroller. So I got a stroller. It's so silly, but it's I'm I am that doggy mom now. Like this is me. I have to go and track them down because I, I don't know which way they walked. Grab my keys. I'm actually going to have to come back into the house because I have to leave and um, run some errands. I have to return one of Bronx's dog treats that he does not like. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to head out with my stroller. <laughs> Did you poo poo? Did you poo poo? Did he poo? No. You need to go poo poo. What happened? What happened? No poo poo? Oh, I'm gonna do the haul. Um, first thing is asparagus. Then we have kombucha. Um, I'm trying to go on this like health cleanse, but not cleanse, but just be healthier. Oh, I think he, he thinks he heard something. I didn't hear anything, Bronx. You heard something? Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do that. And then here is uh, Bronx. We've got some mango, organic mango. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Oh, this pasta. I tried to wait until it goes on sale at Costco, but I just, I was like, I need something to eat during lunch. So this is it. Yes, Bronx, it's okay. I got some mozzarella cheese so I can make, I forget what it's called all of a sudden, but you know mozzarella and then you slice the tomatoes and then you put balsamic vinegar and olive oil and basil on it. Um, it's gonna bother me that I can't remember what it's called. Guys, my favorite coconut water, like out of all the different brands there are, is this. 
it's a harmless coconut water to me like in my opinion it's like the sweetest and it's just like i don't know it has like taste bronx you want to come here here mommy hold you come i got you it's okay Bronx is gonna join us. Anyways, I was saying that the harmless coconut water is my favorite because I don't know the taste. It's like really sweet and it just tastes, I don't know, like all natural, you know? So that's definitely my favorite. It's a little bit pricey, but if you go to Whole Foods and you try to buy one bottle, it is not worth it, guys. Try to go to Costco and if they sell it there, get it from Costco because, uh, yeah, it's expensive. Bronx, you're getting kind of heavy. Can I put you down? chicken pot pie for lunch i get lazy when i'm working from home and i have to like make something to eat when i don't have enough time so this is what it is that's it for my costco haul someone's really upset he acts like he's not watching you but he's side-eyeing you See him? He's side eyeing you right there. He's so side eyeing right now. He's acting like he's not looking at you. He's, look at that. Look at that. You think you're sneaky, huh? You, you're not sneaky. See? Hi! Look. He acts like he's not. Look at that. Hey, Bronx. I see you looking at me. ponytail for a change um, before I call it a night and um, start relaxing for my weekend I wanted to unbox a whole bunch of stuff with you guys for my bachelorette party and my bridal shower here is bathing suit number one it's literally just like a plain black top and I feel like who can't use a plain black bikini Ooh, this one is oh yeah this one's cool okay the other thing is uh, some bathing suits look better when you have boobs and I am just pretty much I'm a flat chested girl okay and the other thing about white bikinis that I just realized because I just put my hands behind the material is if it's wet my uh, you know what like up here <laughs> will probably show and I'm not sure that I feel comfortable enough to be <laughs> walking around like that okay let me show you guys it's a little bit hard to like visualize but this is the front and um this string kind of comes around and it ties back here so you won't be seeing the string all you'll be seeing is this right here this is the back there's two straps that'll come around so this one right here and then there's this one right here so i ordered a one piece and i feel like they come out with a lot of cute one pieces these days um so here it is it does kind of like a, a dip in the front. Not that I have boobs to show off, but anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. So, um, yeah, and then it comes down. And this is the back right here. So it kind of dips back or down. So this will be cute. I'm going to try this on. I think this one will be really cute. And I really like black um, bathing suits because, I don't know, I just... Oh gosh, I'm such a, um, I'm kind of boring when it comes to wearing clothes with colors. I tend to lean more towards blacks and whites. Um, I don't know, it's just like who I am, you know? I might be in some trouble here. <laughs> Wait, am I looking at this right? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, I am. I am. Oh lordy. Nope, this, I'm gonna have to return this one because, well, <sighs> okay let me just show you guys because i'm a little bit like caught off guard i didn't know this is a a bottom a black bikini bottom so this is what it looks like and this right here is like way too narrow it's like it is way too narrow for me i am not i mean god bless all those girls who can rock these kinds of things i'm just not one of them i could if i wanted to i just don't feel comfortable um doing that like this right here right here i mean it's not a thong bikini but it might as well be it's like the front is and it just doesn't carry towards the back you know um i'll try it but i'm almost 100 percent positive that i'll be returning this one 
um, which means that I will probably have to order another bottom, a black bikini bottom. I thought there was something wrong with this one, but look, <laughs> it only looks like that because you're supposed to wrap it around your body once and so then it kind of crisscrosses. Um, let me try and show you guys right now. I think this one would be... Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. Is this it? Is that right? Okay, maybe it's like this. You know what? I'm going to have to refer to the picture because this definitely is not right. So here come the bikini cover-up. So here is this really white, flowy, sheer skirt. It's like this. And you're supposed to wrap it around like that don't remember what this one was oh i remember now okay this is a really cute one you just wear it and it's this like see-through lace-ish looking thing and uh it's really long but yeah you wear a bathing suit and then this is just kind of a cover-up and it goes like all here i'll show you guys i'll try to show you but it goes all the way down I just hope it looks okay. It looks, I don't know. It looks okay. Oh, it's split in the middle too. Right there. That's it for my haul, minus my two potential dresses uh, that I might wear to my bridal shower back in Jersey. So I'm gonna end my video here. I'm pretty behind, so. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to have to start editing. It's a Friday night. It's probably, I don't have my phone on me right now, but it's probably around 9 p.m. And uh, my video is supposed to go up tomorrow afternoon, so I have to get started on editing, but I'm really tempted to try on these things. So I actually might take like 10, 15 minutes out of, you know, like before I start editing um, to try these things on because I'm like, I'm kind of, you know, I want to see what they look like. Minus the fact that I just ate dinner. Um, I just want to try it on and see how they all look. So if you guys made it this far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.